hello and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use the topo solid tool in autodex Revit 2024 to create a landscape terrain so this is like a sequel to the previous version called topo surface in autodex Revit 2023 and the previous version so it's just like a new advancement in autodex Revit in the aspect of landscaping so if this is your first time on this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the like button make sure you share it with your friends also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this with that said and let's jump right into the main content of this video all right so as you can see we are going to use this project now and we're going to be creating a landscape terrain for this project firstly we are going to look at our level so if you go to this elevation here we can see all the levels we have the natural ground level and the basement level and the dpc and the first floor so we're going to be going to the basement level and draw our topo surface from there we're going to go under this tab over here we're going to go to massing and site then we're going to go to and click on this topo solid so previously in revit 2023 and the previous versions it was called topo solid Surface. but now and i think they have given us a more flexible tool we could use so let's go so under this topo solid we're just going to click on this drop down icon you can either choose to create it by sketching or you can choose to create it from import so let's just click on create from import so we could see that you could create from a card file and you should could create from a csv file so if you have an autocad file that has um, some coordinates of some site you could use it to import it and get the coordinates replicated on topo solid so you could also do that for a csv file that has record of all the coordinates so we're going to click on escape then we're going to go back to this topo solid we're going to click create from sketch so now we are just going to use this tool modify tool and we're just going to draw a simple rectangle okay and we're just going to click finish so if you now go to this 3d view we are going to see what you've created so as you can see you can see the terrain is basically a 1.2 meter thick kind of slab but it's not actually a slab so to start modifying it we could go to click on this modify sub elements so in this modify sub elements we can choose which point we want to elevate so let's say we click on this point now and we maybe let's rotate the 3d toggle and let's re increase it so let's say we increase this height to about 3.6 tons out so if you click on escape we are going to see that the topography has elevated with the site so we are going to go further and modify it more so we are going to click on this and we are going to, going to click on modify shape so in this modify shape we could add some points so once we add this point we could either choose to add it along a surface or we could click on absolute what this absolute means is any digit you put here or any data you put here will be absolute from the project base we, let's say we put um 3.4 and we just place it here you can see that it has elevated at this point so let's just try and add some random digits and interplay it here and here okay this is too much i'm still going to reduce it we could just change this to let's use 2.7 so if you click on escape we could see how this thing has formed so as you can see this topo surface is currently overlapping our project so we are going to work on that now so but before doing that we are now going to go to basement level so under this basement level we are now going to start doing some line work so we we'll know what we are doing so we are going to go to annotate we are going to go to detail line so we are just going to use a box line to just draw the base of our of our site so after this base of our site, we are just going to click on offset and we are just going to click on 3 meters to offset this. So let's just offset this and offset these lines just over here. Okay, so now we are going to sketch some site features and we are just going to sketch some basic site stuff. Like we are going to, going to draw the site boundary at 12 meter. We are going to draw some green areas. Let's say we start from here. all right so now we are done with the line work okay before we just conclude let's just draw where the ramps will be let's draw the ramp from here to this point from here to from here as well all right so now we are done with the sketching of the site profile we are going to be modifying this topo solid so to do that we are going to click on this topo solid we are going to click on modify elements so now what we are going to do is we are going to be adding these points so for this point if you remember we put this topo surface we put this topo solid at our basement level but the issue is once you are using this absolute and the elevation base is the project base you are going to be putting these values in relation to the project base and according to the project base our basement level is 
at minus 3 meters. So we're just going to start with it first. So now we're going to be using the minus 3 and we're just going to be placing the point here. We're going to look for this point. You just go to always note that you zoom in well so you'll be able to see the point well. So now we have placed minus 3 meters at the base of our basement where we want this topo solid to be at. We are just going to make this elevation value at 0. So we will now put it at the natural ground level now. And we will put this point to at 0. We're also going to do the same for this point. Okay, currently we forgot to use lines to draft the ramp at this other region. So we are just going to click on this line and I'm just going to click on mirror. And I'm just going to make sure it's set as copy. Then I'm just going to mirror it to this point. So I'm just going to continue modifying this topo solid. So I'm going to click on the topo solid. I'm going to click on modify element. Then I'm going to click on add point. So under this add point, I remember I'm going to make sure it's at zero because we're using the project base as a reference point. So we're just going to place zero here. Place another point here. We're also going to place a point here. Okay. So we're going to place another point here. Absolute add point absolute absolute and we're just going to place point here place another point here all right so now i think we've placed some basic points some of these basic points so we'll go back to the 3d view and we're going to see what we've done so as you can see you can see that this stuff is actually at the base of our basement level even though it's all green area we're still going to work on that and you can see how the site morphed around the modified area we just modified so we're going to go back to this basement floor and we're going to do something we're going to click on this topo solid and we're going to click on subdivide so under the subdivide we are now going to draft out the area of our site we want to use like the site plan so we're just going to draft this or we could use this select line tool and just pick this from this line pick this here pick these lines here because we'll make this green area pick this pick this pick this pick this and pick this so we're just going to use trim and just going to trim this and we're going to click finish so now we are going to go back to this 3d view so now this is like a separate entity now it's not really like a separate it's just something we can modify differently now so we are going to click on this and we're just going to make the subdivision height at one because personally i would have preferred to use the minus value on it but since we can't use it currently we are just going to make it one then we're going to add some assign some material so we're just going to make this interlocking st stones okay so now we've made this interlocking tiles we are going to go back to this basement plan so we're just going to click on this topo solid and we're just going to click on edit subdivide so now we've clicked on it we're just going to use and draw our profile now so now we're just going to trim it all right so now we've done that we're just going to assign some material we're going to assign grass because we want it to be green area and we're now going to put the subdivide height to be 50 okay 150 since it's a green area okay so we're going to go back to the 3d and we're going to see what we've done again so as you can see our green area has come out so we're going to go back to ngl and we're going to be sketching out the roads now so in the same fashion we're going to click on this topo solid we're going to click on subdivide then we're just going to try and draw our profile let's go back to basement level i think there's a conflict in the line work here so i'm just going to click on this click on this and just draft out the main road So we're just going to trim this, trim this here, and we're just going to trim this as well. Alright, so we're just going to click on finish, and we're going to, we forgot to edit it before clicking finish, but that is no problem, we can edit it now. So I'm just going to click on this, I'm going to change this subdivide height to 1, and I'm going to assign an asphalt material to it. And this is looking good so as you can see you can see how the road adapted to the terrain or the slanted terrain of the site this is just the advantage of using topos topo solid in autodex revit so we are going to do one more subdivision we are going to do that for the walkways or the interlocking pavement area so we are going to click on it we are going to click on subdivide so we are just going to start using our modify lines to create our walkways so we're just going to click on offset and we're going to offset 1.5. I'm going to offset this too. So now we're just going to close in our loops. 
and we're going to make the subdivision height at 75 and we're going to assign uh let's just assign another type of material to it let's just assign analytical panels and click ok i'm going to click finish so if you go to the 3d view now we're going to see that you can see how seamlessly this walkways have created so the next thing i want to do now is i want to apply some curves to these roads because we need curves in our walkways so it will look more refined we all, i also need curves for this green area so what i'm going to do is that normally if i was using slabs in revit i will have just gone to architecture i'll have gone to floors i'll have gone to slab edge but the issue with this kind of topo surfaces topo solid is that if you are using slab edge for instance and maybe let's use this one and try and place the slab edge here well it's going to place at this at the lower side so it's kind of useless so we're just going to delete this and we're going to use another method and the method i want to use is i want to use railings because railings can adapt to topo surface so to do that we're going to use railings to create a curb so to do that we're simply going to go to file we're going to go to new under new we're going to click on family so under this family we're going to look for rail generic rail okay profile rail and we're going to click ok so under this profile rail we're just going to click on lines and we're going to draw our railing profile so we're just going to okay currently is at imperial so we're going to use un to change the metric the system the measurement system to metric so we're going to click on this length and we're going to change it to millimeters and we're going to click ok okay so we're going to go back to create we're going to go to lines and we're going to just be drawing the profile for cap so we're going to be making it 225 millimeters deep then we are going to make the thickness 125 and we are going to just draw 150 from here and we are going to also draw 50 from here okay so we are just going to join this now so now we are going to save this family and what we are going to save this family as is we are going to save it as main caps so we are just going to click on save so now we've done this we're just going to click on load into project and close so now we've loaded it into this project so now we are just going to go back to the basement floor or rather let's go to dpc now so in this dbc we're just going to draw uh, use a normal railing so we're going to click on this railing icon over here so now we're just going to select the typical railing we used to use 900 mm railing we're going to click on edit type we're going to duplicate and we're going to name this 01 main cap all right so we're going to click ok so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uncheck this top railing and we're just going to click on edit so under this edit we're going to click on insert insert new railing we're going to click on default we're going to change this to the railing we imported that is main railing main cap sorry so let's look for it main caps okay so this is it so this is the railing profile we just um, created now so we're going to assign a material we are going to assign a material for the caps let me just use this one caps and i'm going to click ok so now i've done that i'm going to click apply i'm going to click ok so i'm going to go to this baluster placement and click edit so right now i'm just going to click on all these baluster families here and i'm going to change it to none i'm going to change this to none as well all these baluster families none all this baluster family none and click ok then i'm going to click ok okay so now i've done that i'm now going to draw our railing so i'm just going to click on this pick part and i'm going to pick this walkways for instance i'm going to click on tab to select the whole line to see if i can select this whole line okay since i can't do that let me just pick here pick here pick here pick here and pick here and let me just pick here and use here. okay so now i'm just going to use this trim tool to just trim everything together trim everything together to this point trim everything to this point all right so now what we are going to do is we are just going to click on this pick host and we are just going to pick this walkway we want to assign this rail into so we are just going to pick it then we are going to click finish so we are now going to go to 3d and we are going to see so as you can see you can see how perfectly the railing just fit in or railing slash caps so we could also click on it and just and modify it by editing the parts and just doing it and dragging it to this point and we could just see how perfectly it has formed so we're also going to do the same for this green area so it will be looking good we're going to go back to dpc we're going to go to architecture we're going to go to railing now we're just going to pick the part 
So currently, it's currently set at DPC. I'm going to change this to NGL and I'm just going to pick part here. Okay, it doesn't matter which level I set it as far as I'm picking host. So, I mean, let's go. So I'm going to set, click on pick host and I'm going to pick this. Then I'm going to click finish. So I'm going to go to 3D and as you can see, okay, you can see the thing is actually placed in VAR. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this and I'm going to zoom in and see this two-way icon and I'm just going to click on it. So as you can see, this railing has come out. So finally, we're just going to do this before rounding up. We're going to go to railing and we're going to go to pick railing. We're going to pick here, pick here, pick here, pick here, pick here as well, pick here as well. And we're just going to drop this and just fill in here. All right, so now we're just going to click on pick host and we're just going to pick this walkway once again and click finish. So as you can see, we we'll go back to 3D, you can see how refined and how adaptive and good this is looking. So now we're just going to add, add some side features. So we're just going to click on this 3D toggle to go to the top view. We're going to go to massing and sites once more. We're going to go to parking components and we're just going to place one or two parking here. So we could just rotate it. Okay, if you are not seeing the parking well, Okay, see the parking. Let's place another one here. And one more somewhere here. So as you can see, you can see the parking space. And we are just going to place some green side components like some greeneries. So I'm just going to click on this. And I'm just going to be changing in some nice trees. So as you can see, if you if you now rotate the tree, you can see the trees here. You can see how good it's looking. So you could even change some of these trees. Let's go to side components, change some of these trees, and let's look for some bigger ones. Okay, so now we are done placing some of these components. We don't want this topography to be interfering with the floors and the components of our main building. So we are going to resolve that now. So firstly, we are going to be working on this individual topography divide. So we are going to be going to this basement floor and we are just going to click on edit sketch. So now we are just going to draw the profile of the building just to remove this envelope here. And we are just going to just click finish. So as you can see, this interlock has been edited and the thing is no more interfering with the building. So now to resolve that for this main topography, we are just going to go to architecture. We are going to go to components. We are going to go to model in place. Under model in place, we are going to look for topography. So we are just going to select topography. We are going to click OK. We are going to click OK again. We are going to go to this basement level, basement floor level. So now we are there. We are just going to click on void forms we're going to click on void extrusion then we're just going to draw our profile here so now we are done with that we're going to impute the value we're going to make it eight meters high so we'll be able to see it then we're going to go to our 3d view then i'm just going to click on cut i'm going to click on cut geometry i'm going to select the void form then i'm just going to select the topo solid all right so as you can see the topo solid is no more interfering with the floors of the building so you can see the whole depth here if we could if you want to edit this void form more we could just drag it down to make sure that it's even below so as you can see you could see how hollow this thing is and it's no more interfering with the floors of the building so we're just going to click finish and we could also go to the basement or any floor plan and we could just draw a section just to confirm let's just say we go to views and we just draw a section here and we draw a section across this so if you click on the section we are going to see that it's no more interfering and this place is just empty so we're just going to go to 3d view and so i think that is the end of this video you could see how we started from nothing on this terrain and we created this basic landscape in autodex revit and you can see how the topography merges with the slope of the building and the basement floor of the building and how you can use this in your projects in autodex revit so if the video was helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you and have a nice day